Hello everybody out there, it's the future once again, and welcome back here to another update. This is going to be update 9.0, and it's going to be on my VHS this time. And I just wanted to say that I've been putting um, 8.0 and 9.0 behind all my updates, and I do it whether it's DVD or VHS or not, because all my updates have to do with my DVD and VHS. I just am going to keep numbering them like that, so this is going to be 9.0. Um, if you haven't checked out 8.0, it was my Halloween Horror Special where I went through and showed my DVD updates of all horror-related um, genres and uh, movies that had to do with any horror or Halloween that I like um, thought was um, going in that vid. So go back and check that out. Also, I did like a top five movies that I like to watch. Well, actually, it was more than that but movies that I like to watch during Halloween, so go back and check that out. Uh, also did a classic film commentary, I'm trying to get that rolling, uh, where me and friends just kind of just check out the movie and uh, comment as we go through the whole movie. Um, we did uh, Frogs, I did that with my friend C-Dub from Chronicord Media, which I'm just going to shout out right now. Also I did um, Two with Stephen Lane, we did Day of the Dead, and uh, then we came back and did Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. So go check out those. Leave a comment. Um, if you like these videos, subscribe. Um, leave a comment down below. Give me a like. Um, and just let me know what you guys are into. And uh, it's always fun to talk about people about movies. Because um, I'm a big fan. As you can see. <laughs> I've, uh, man, I've gathered quite a bit lately. And I need to go over some of these for DVD updates. This whole two stacks. I've went over all these. I just don't have any room left. Um, if you've watched my last um, Halloween Horror one. I'll just go right now. You've seen that I picked up the two Godzilla movies. Uh, Godzilla vs. Gigan. And Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster. This is good old Good Times video. And this is good old uh, Star Maker. Um, Anchor Bay release. And shout out to uh, Cinestalker who knows about these Anchor Bay releases. And if you can let me know if this one's worth anything. It says it's from 1997. Um, so if that's cool, uh, let me know, man. It's got the old saw uh, chest Geigen on there. So it's pretty crazy. Um, I've already showed those off, but just showing them again, kind of. Yeah, and I got the Frankenstein. And the Dawn of the Dead, unrated director's cut. Showed that one off last time. And Phantom of the Opera I just picked up. Um, I have the DVD, but I didn't have the VHS. You know, it shows 1925. Man, if I'm correct, 1925 is the wrong date of that movie. Um, let's see the back of this one. Um, that's kind of funny. Because uh, Phantom of the Opera on here, it gives, yeah, 1925 is, I thought it was 22, but 1925, but 22 is Nosferatu, uh, so excuse me, but you can see there Lon Chaney, this was a good old Good Times release home video, got this up at the uh, thrift store uptown, um, it's kind of like a Salvation Army, it's a Christian mission center now, um, Lon Chaney though, Phantom of the Opera got that up there because it's around Halloween time and got all the horror ones up there that I like. As you can see, there he is, too. Um, some other ones I picked up, um, pretty cool, is uh, Deer Hunter. You know, Robert De Niro, Christopher Walken. Um, gotta love this one. Um, really cool. I don't want to give anything away. A film of great courage and overwhelming emotional power. Just a damn good movie. I'd like to get the DVD, um, but I don't have it. So when I saw that this Deer Hunter, I got this set of Salvation Army. I think they were a buck at the Salvation Army. Got Shot in the Dark. Um, which is the second installment of the original Pink Panther. It was the follow-up. Um, this is the original with Peter Sellers, and those are the only good Pink Panther-related movies, in my opinion. Um, the ones with Steve Martin and stuff just don't do it for me. A Shot in the Dark, though. It wasn't even called Pink Panther, just Pink Panther and then A Shot in the Dark. So Peter Sellers in there, but you can see right there, a uh, sequel to the Pink Panther. Um, this is really good. Actually, to update everybody, my VHS, finally, I, I'm just not going to use it anymore. I was watching a good movie, and uh, I got all the way through it and rewound, and the thing got ate. So, um, I'm sick of it eating things. So, I'm getting a VHS to DVD recorder that it can also play VHS and DVD. Um, so, 
I'm getting that around Christmas time, so I'm just going to save all these to watch. I'm not going to even take a chance of getting them eight. The other one, it's a uh, bit of dust, and I'm getting rid of it. I'm ready to smash it with the hammer for even tearing one up. But the Bridge on River Kwai, pick this one up. I, if you haven't watched my vids, I try to get all the classics on VHS. I just love collecting these VHS and love the, you know, cover arts. Winner of seven Academy Awards. This is a great movie. This is a Columbia Pictures release, digitally remastered. Um, this is one my dad recommended to get. It's the old uh, King of the Wild Frontier, Davy Crockett, Walt Disney. Um, this runs uh, 93 minutes. I think my dad said this was like a three-segment show that they showed on TV, and then they just put it all together in one movie. Um, it's Walt Disney's studio film collection. I remember watching these as a kid, too. My dad really enjoyed them, and he was with me at the time, and he's like, this is a must-have. So there you have Davy Crockett. And, um, yeah, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, Fess Parker, Buddy Ebsen, uh, produced by Bill Walsh and directed by Norman Foster. So I thought that was a cool pickup. I like the cover art on that. Uh, Mystic Pizza. This is a good 80s classic. I think it's Julia Roberts' first movie that she did. Um, I may be wrong. Correct me if I am. But I think it is. This is from 1988. I remember watching this. My sisters, um, rest in peace to one of my sisters that's passed away. But I remember they used to watch this all the time. Um, and I just think it's cool too. Romantic comedy with the works. And if I'm not even, if I'm correct here, this is a 1989 release, so I think it's the original release too. And it's weird because it's this Video Treasures release. Um, Samuel Goldwyn Home Entertainment. Um, so, that's yeah, cool. I like the cover art on there too, and there's young Julia Roberts there. Always been hot. Um... The next one is the classic West Side Story, uh, Academy Award winner of Best Picture in 1961. Had to have that one. There was two copies there, and this was the best of the two. This was actually released in 91. It was a 1961 movie, though. It runs two hours and 33 minutes. Um, man, if you haven't seen this movie, it's a definite instant classic. Um, about backdrop of, it's about... Um, gang warfare in the slums of New York in the 50s. Um, just really cool, man. So, it's a classic you need to check out. And there you go, Brawlers. It's for, for the outsiders and stuff, but really cool, man. Really glad to get that one. Here's one that uh, Sinistalker might know. Are you in the house alone? Kathleen Beller and Blythe Danner. Um, haunting phone calls from an anonymous strangers and good old good times again. They always came through. 1978 picture. I don't even know what this movie is, but it was at that thrift store, um, the Christian Missions. Um, and for a dollar, I was like, heck, I might as well get this one because I don't see many like horror or thriller ones there. But I'm glad I got Fam of the Opera and this one. So if anybody can tell me anything, I've yet to even research it. Are you alone in the dark? Glad to have that. Can't wait to watch it and see what it's all about. Might be a while, but it'll be worth it. I'm just stocking up right now. Apollo 13, um, Tom Hanks, Kevin Bacon, Bill Paxton. Man, many more. Gary Sinise and Ed Harris. And you can see right there, Houston, we have a problem. And I remember that's when everybody started saying that after this movie. Um, it's about the old fell, uh, almost failed Apollo. Well, it was a failed mission. Um, but they got back, not to spoil anything. Apollo 13, though. Good movie of Tom Hanks. I always enjoy him. I don't have the DVD of the, a lot of these either. Dog Day Afternoon, Al Pacino. Definitely a classic. Um, had to pick this one up. Um, bit bitingly funny and wonderfully compassionate. Um, not to give anything away, but this is a 1975 movie, and this release was released in 98, so it's not the original. It does have some special features. Before the movie, uh, behind-the-scenes documentary, filmmaker, and original theatrical trailer. So I thought it was cool when they actually put some features on, um, started putting features on VHS after a while. Warner Brothers Classics, too. Um, then Animal House. Um, I actually don't have the DVD of this, but I really want to get it. Double Secret uh, Probation Edition. Really of the best seven years of, uh, really live the best seven years of your college education. And you got to love it because it was Jim Belushi, or John Belushi, excuse me, Jim's his brother. John Belushi, Tim Matheson, John Vern, this before he passed away. 
this was a let's see 1978 uh, Universal Studios film and this was released in 2003 this VHS so really cool if you haven't seen Animal House National Lampoon's Animal House it's just a great movie all around um, I'm a big John Belushi fan I don't know why I just keep wanting to say Jim but I'm a big John Belushi fan and I've showed before that I do have a um, like anthology of a bunch of his work from Saturday Night Live um, had special feature, uh, yearbook, an Animal House reunion documentary on it, too, so that's cool. I was glad to grab that. Here's two Quentin Tarantino related, and he's been heavy in the news lately, Quentin Tarantino, but, uh, still my favorite film director, uh, live today, uh, is Quentin Tarantino. I can't wait for The Hateful Eight, but I was able to pick up The True Romance and Pulp Fiction on VHS. This was actually an ad never before seen bonus scenes hosted by Quentin himself. I love just love this cover, and uh, this was actually a later release um, because uh, it's a special collector's edition. And I remember it says on here, yeah, never before scenes uh, not shown in theaters or on the original video release. Um, I couldn't find a year on this thing, but it is not the original release. But it's still Miramax Home Entertainment, Pulp Fiction on VHS, really cool. Gonna have to put that one up on the shelf here with this True Romance. True Romance, if you haven't seen it, Quentin Tarantino wrote the script for this, and he says they pretty much went right along with it. Um, you gotta love it because it's directed by the late Tony Scott, Christian Slater, Patricia Arquette. Um, stealing, cheating, killing, who says romance is dead? True Romance. Dennis Hopper, Kilmer, uh, Gary Oldman, Brad Pitt in an early role in this was great. Christopher Walken also in here. Um, so two Quentin Tarantino related films, one that he directed and the one that he wrote, but two of my favorites by him that he's affiliated with, so glad to get those. Martin Scorsese, Scorsese, however you want to say it, Robert De Niro, Taxi Driver, Collector's Edition. Um, I didn't have this on DVD either, and I'd yet to be able to watch it because of my VCR. Um, I'm looking down here, 99 is when this was released. The movie was made in 1978, Columbia Pictures, and it is the Columbia Pictures um, Collector's Edition from 99. Um, it's pretty tore up, but uh, I think I got this for like 50 cents, so I had to grab it. Pretty dusty still. The Muse, really good. This is actually the movie that kind of messed up on me. I actually took it apart and taped it back together, so hopefully it works whenever I get the new VCR. It usually does, but it's going to suck. Um, and it sucks, I want to get it again. Albert Brooks, this is really funny. If you haven't seen it, he becomes, he has to have this lady that here, uh, Sharon Stone, um, off of uh, Casino, she's starred in. Um, she has to uh, become a, uh, her real life muse, Sarah Little, for uh, Albert Brooks. And I just love Albert Brooks' uh, humor. Um, gotta love defending your life. And uh, this was directed by Albert Brooks, too. I mean, it's really good. If you haven't seen The Muse, check it out. This one's really cool because it still has uh, freaking plastic on it. Toxic Avenger Part 2. I don't have any of the Toxie movies, but this one was pretty damn good. And it is the original release as well of this. Um, down here, you see 1989 uh, Warner Home Video and Troma. It's the good old Troma. Um, Lloyd Kaufman. Gotta love him. There's Toxie himself choking somebody out. <laughs> a superhero for the 90s and a swell guy. Well, I love the cover art of this. I gotta put this up on the shelf. The first superhero from New Jersey is back. A Lloyd Kaufman, Michael Hurst production in association with uh, Lorimar. A trauma for team release. Genuinely funny. <laughs> this is great, man. Love that cover art. I gotta get the other Toxic Avengers too. Warner Brothers, but when I find one of these, you know, I'm not passing that up. Uh, funny one that I picked up, The Rocket Man. I remember watching this when I was a kid and kind of liking this wacky-ass comedy. Um, it stars, let me see here, I can't remember this guy's name off the top of my head. Um, yeah, Harlan Williams, that's right. He's from Down Periscope, Dumb and Dumber, and one of my favorites, Half Baked, that he's from. Uh, he's just taking up space. Walt Disney actually released this too. 
and I haven't really checked out if this was the original release or not and I don't see a date right now so I'm not even going to get into it but I'm just going to say it is so Rocket Man no, I don't really recommend it but if you want to check it out it's worth a watch don't say a word Michael Douglas I have a kid I buy him off for like a quarter a piece and he actually just threw this in because he said it's a really cool thriller and I've yet to check it out, but I thank him. Uh, Premier series, the best of 20th Century Fox. Um, film has been modified. 2002 and a 2001 movie. So I'm pretty sure this is probably close to the original release here. 20th Century Fox Premier series. And one of my favorites that I picked up is definitely Billy Bathgate. This one's really good. Dustin Hoffman, Nicole Kidman. Um... It's, uh, man, he plays a gangster in this, uh, and one of the best roles, actually, that I've seen Dustin Hoffman, uh, you know, famous from Rain Man, um, gangbusters, Dustin Hoffman at the top of his form, and they're right, man, if you can find Billy Bathgate or just see it anywhere and check it out, I highly recommend watching this terrific first class all the way, CBS TV. Um, that does it for those two stacks. Oh, I did pick up these little books. Um, that talk all about uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and notes. And it's like a little comic of the movie and then has a bunch of notes on it, like movies that were made and the characters right there you see, author, just a bunch of stuff to read on to. This is Hunchback of Notre Dame here. Classics Illustrated, made by Acclaim Books, study guide. It was four ninety nine. I got these for a quarter piece. I thought they were cool. I like the fronts of them. Um... But the other tapes that I picked up, I picked up Star Trek Generations. And I got all these stacked up here. It's really crappy copy. But I like the movie because it is one that stars original cast members. You got Luke, Scott, or, uh, I said Luke. You got Kirk, Scotty, there, um, and Chekhov, um, all on this. So Klingons down there. I watched the movie, and it's not the greatest. But it is the one where the two... Um, captains finally meet James T. Kirk and Montgomery Scott um, Picard yeah um, so it's it's just interesting to see uh, Jean-Luc Picard and uh, Captain Kirk um, come face to face really crappy copy though um, the other ones I don't even know if I'm going to pull them totally out Schindler's List I picked up, you know, Steven Spielberg classic, might as well pull it out. Who? This is a really good movie about the concentration camps um, in, um, during World War II in Nazi Germany. And it's about uh, Oscar Schindler who actually saved a bunch of uh, Jew lives. Um, and he is played by Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. And uh, you just can't beat this picture, directed by Steven Spielberg. And when I seen it, and it's one of the thick ones, and I got a bunch of my thick uh, two tape ones up here right now, kind of dusty too. Some of the other ones I got, uh, I got Spartacus, the original, four Academy Awards, uh, presented uncut and fully restored, a Stanley Kubrick classic right here, Spartacus. Um, let's see if they have the original date was made 1960, and this was released in 2001, and uh, yeah. Presented uncut and fully restored. You got Kirk Douglas stars as Spartacus. You know Michael Douglas's dad. Love him as an actor, and I love that movie. Um, ben Hur got this one too, and you gotta love this man. You gotta love Charlton Heston and Ben Hur, the epic. And it was the Academy Award winner of Best Picture in 1959, and it is the MGM UA home video release of it. Um, from 1959 is when this was made. The movie itself and it looks like the date I don't know I don't see any actual release date for this but definitely wasn't 1959 three hours and 31 minutes it's an epic they would call it um, love the front of that too but I got that up there next to you know good the bad and the ugly few dollars more and then Schindler's List I got up there and Spartacus I kind of did this because of for room purposes and just because I just kind of wanted to display them as well because I love my VHS if anybody knows uh, I got the uh, you know Star Wars original trilogy Indiana Jones the original trilogy and 
um, the Star Trek movies box set and an extra Rathacon up there in that 3D set. And the last uh, tape that I have is down here in my Arnold VHS collection spot that I got going. I got, you know, Terminator 1 and 2, Total Recall, Predator, The Running Man, Eraser, and then I picked up End of Days. And I'm not even going to try to pull this out right now. Everybody knows End of Days, Arnold Schwarzenegger, but I wanted to show that because that is a new tape that I picked up, but I already got it down there in the section. Oh, and you can't forget the classic jingle all the way. Um, so my Arnold uh, collection's growing nicely there with my VHS, and I pretty much got all of his stuff on uh, DVD as well. Um, it's all blocked right now, or I'd show them. And I did put a lot of new tapes down here for display, like Army of Darkness, Galaxy Quest, Tombstone, Salem's Lots there, Twilight Zone, the movie, the Batman and Robin series. Um, I kind of moved all my series up here, like um, my trilogies and stuff, like the trilogy of Jurassic Park original, uh, Mad Max 1 and 2, uh, 1 and 3 there. I have Road Warriors on DVD. But I just put, you know, E.T., Forrest Gump, some Spielberg stuff, because I'm a big Spielberg fan. Scarface, Meet Joe Black, Big Trouble Little China. A couple more to finish it out there with The Breakfast Club and Weird Science. So that's my little display right there. I actually got some room here to stick a DVD or something, but not big enough for a VHS. Um, but 21 minutes and change now. I think I'm going to call it a video. Um, that's it for update 9.0. Um, sorry for fumbling around and stuff. I really don't, you know, even prepare for these. I just pick up the phone and start recording. So I hope everybody was able to follow along and enjoyed the update. Yeah, shout out to Cinestalker and C Dub of Chronocord Media. I'll put their links below. Check them out. Uh, thank everybody for watching. As I said, subscribe if it's your first time. Give me a like. Uh, give me a comment if you like what you saw. Um, always good to talk with other collectors and people who enjoy movies. So, yeah, leave a comment. Um, and until next time, guys, as always, peace out.